hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use a losing chart in creating a floor plan let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in losing chart i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Creating a floor plan in Lucid Chart is a straightforward process because the platform offers a user-friendly interface with tools specifically designed for this purpose. Now, once you are logged into your account, I want you to click the uh, documents that you wanted to use for, for, for uh, the uh, floor plan. But if you haven't already, you might want to click the new button on the upper right corner wherein you can start from a blank document or create from template wherein you will be forwarded to the template section you see from here all you have to do is go to all templates and go to the search bar and maybe type in floor plan to see if what we got you see there's going to be a, a results from that search you have the office floor plan event floor plan warehouse waste analysis house floor plan office floor plan example house of floor plan and a lot more but the thing is at the bottom it says premium that means you cannot use this using a free trial all right you see that my account status is i am using their free plan so i might have to subscribe to the uh, pro plan before i can use that but of course you can simply click the uh, view if you wanted to check if this is going to be a uh, perfect template for you you see you can start your trial but we're not going to do that instead we're going to use the free ones i'm gonna be using the uh event uh floor plan let me click the preview button and click the use template what will happen is it would be forwarded to the section here the diagram builder all right it takes a little while but once the canvas is set up you would easily notice that you have the capability to rename the file name here as of this one all right now from the setup canvas all right you might want to make sure that you add any interactive plans that you want for example in this case i'm going to add an, an element here on the left side panel of my dashboard i'm going to hover to the image i'm going to add more image here along the way And then here, you want to make sure that you go to the shape se shapes section in the left side panel of your dashboard. All right, and then there is more sections here where you can add under the uh, floor plan that says rooms. All right, and as you go along the way, you can basically check the box and click the selected shapes and add it to your workspace. For example, this one. But of course, we need to. Uh, out of shapes for this document let me do with that all right so you can add doors stairs desk along the way in cubicle tables and there's a lot of that you can work here for lucid chart beds appliances couches and other stuff here for example this one right here you can put it here but the thing is you know, it requires our premium features but again the uh, idea is that let's say how about we start from scratch all right so um let's go back to the home page so here we're going to start from scratch so you have to option start from a template and start from scratch again while, while it's loaded let's rename this as this one you see in an empty canvas go to the shape section in the left side type in room all right so you from here you can start from scratch drag any elements that you wanted it's up to you so you're not going to be limited with your um ideas can you leverage the uh, platform here to create a floor plan for example this i'm sorry i'm not really good with uh creating a floor plan i'm not an architect or an engineer for example we put in some stairs here cubicle walls put that in i'm gonna add some image here
basically this are gonna be a floor plan go again to the shapes maybe um add some desk here tables and chairs probably here okay we've wanted to load more let's do that you have cubicles tables pre-built cabinets let's see what we got restrooms and whatnot i could put it here so basically you can mix and match beds appliances oh hold on appliances dressers can put it here couches technology and a lot more right so i have a messed up kind of floor plan to be honest but the idea is that it's very simple now i'm going to if you want you can label this room for example this all right so you can type it maybe something like uh outer room or whatnot all right this is a meeting room so it's up to you you get what i mean of course you can right click go to document settings and maybe we'll, let's change a different background choose the background that you wanted for this floor plan it's a lot easier for you to navigate during the presentation now i'm going to be choosing something like um like a blue one this one this one's this one looks pr pretty good now once you've done doing all the uh customizing appearance changing colors like uh thickness and whatnot you might want to share this to your client or to for example if you're working with an architect or an engineer you might want to share them you can put their name here and their email address or share a link by clicking this section you have an access label to edit and share edit comment and view all right if you want to present this floor plan to somebody else for example you want to record uh record this um presentation you can use the uh, zeit and loom if you hover this one you can create a new slide for example it's going to be the first slide and then add a new slide and the next slide is going to be this all right and then click the present slide so you'd be able to present this slide to your client or to your engineer or to the team members that you're working with right and then you can also might want to export this as a pdf png jpeg and svg for backup data if you do that it would be forwarded here and you have all of these options for you to download this floor plan that you have created using lucid chart thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video